In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a Google Docs add-on called Highlight Tool to choose text from something you're reading and collect it in a color-coded table. First, click on the Add-ons menu. I already have the Highlight Tool, but I'll show you how to get it. Click Get Add-ons. Search for Highlight Tool. This one by Jason Chin is the one you'll be using. If you haven't used it before, you'll have a blue free button. Click on the blue free button and click allow to let the tool have access to your Google Docs. You may need to refresh your document at this point. Click on add-ons, point to highlight tool, and click start. What I chose for our text is a sample from Chapter 1 of The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, just because I wanted a short text. I created a highlighter for characters, and I created a highlighter for words to look up, words I didn't understand. If you don't like the color, you can click Edit, click on the colored sample, and choose any color you want for your highlighter. You can also change the label if you want to change it from words to look up to vocabulary words. Now let's read. I'm just going to skim this text. I'm going to look for character names and unfamiliar vocabulary words. Oh, here we go. Tom Sawyer. Character. That book was made by Mr. Mark Twain. Mm, that's a person's name. He may be a character. Click on the green highlighter link to highlight it in color. Aunt Polly, Mary, and the Widow Douglas. Hmm, here's an unfamiliar word, some stretchers. I wonder what that means in this context. That's a vocabulary word. Now on to the next paragraph. Judge Thatcher, he's a character. Hmm, I'm confused about this phrase, put it out at interest. Oh, fetched. I know what it means when a dog fetches. I'm not sure what it means here. Dismal regular. And here's Tom Sawyer. Okay, so now I have several things highlighted in both of my different highlighter colors, and now I want to export the highlights, collect them all. You can choose to export by sequence in the order that they occur in the text or by color, which is what I'm going to choose. Click by color. You can choose where you want the exported text to go, whether you want it in a new document, within this document, or in a different document. You could give the URL. I'm choosing this document and I click export. Takes a moment. Exporting finished, refresh the document please, okay. Exporting highlights finished, okay. Now, when I scroll down to the bottom of the document, here it is. I'm gonna move this down to its own page. The labeling key reminds me what the names of my highlighters were and what color. And below, I have a table with each of my highlighter colors and the items I highlighted. This is just a table in the document, so you can add a column to it. So right click in the table, insert column right. And now I have a section where I can take my own notes about what I read. So Tom Sawyer, I know that he is Huck's friend. I know that Mark Twain is the author. This works like any other highlight in the text, so if it's bothering you that your notes are coming out highlighted, you can unselect it. Now you can take this table of notes, you can share it with someone, you can use it as your graphic organizer as you write about the text, or you could print it out to study. So that's how you use the highlight tool.